praise the swiftest swimmer. Revere the most powerful sprinter. And envy the biggest engine. We yearn to trespass the prohibited territories of the human condition. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. In these days, back on Earth, that ambition for exploration, for reaching beyond, for new possibilities, still carries the day. At least, such it is with the cars we drive. Electric vehicles first came out, you had the Volts, you had the smaller compact cars. Well, now you got Audi, you got BMW, you got Lexus. They know that it's not going away, and we know that it's something that we need to, to drive the industry, uh, is to be able to have people who are trained in this. If we don't have people trained in EVITP and uh, the installation and everything that goes along with it, uh, what chance does it have? EVITP. Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Training Program is an important first step for the forever talked about EV revolution to finally actually really happen. Trained, safe, and qualified contractors and electricians to install each charging station. We're the NECA IBEW Powering America team. Nice to meet you. Frank Jacobs, business manager, IBW Local Number One. Our electrical apprenticeship training program in St. Louis has always been on the forefront of a lot of the technology. Uh, we've always tried to stay current. Some of our staff members were instrumental 11 years ago starting the EVITP curriculum. I'm Sean Levin, I'm the director of the St. Louis JTC. We want the customers to, to be confident in that when they have a NECA contractor employing IBW electricians on a project, that they don't have to look elsewhere to get the work done that they need for their project. And in the instance of electrical vehicle charging, there may be a situation where someone's pulling up to that charging station. It's the only charging station within 50 miles, possibly. So it has to work for that individual. It has to. Michael Myers, I'm a full-time instructor here at the IBW Training Center for Local One in St. Louis, Missouri. It's quite a load on the building to have uh, a, a charging facility out in your parking lot. Uh, some people want to put five or six of them out there. Their building may not be able to handle five or six charging stations. So circuits are overloaded. We're going to have breakers trip. And if breakers are tripping, then the people's cars are not charging. That's step number one is to know what your building will allow. And when you have a NECA IBW contractor do that work, we can ensure it is going to function properly. Hi, my name is Andy George. I'm an instructor here at IBEW Local One. There's always going to be somebody ready and willing to do it right behind us. We have to be on the forefront. We have to say, hey, we are ready. We, we can do this. We can install this for you. We are now teaching it to all of our day school students so that every apprentice that comes out of the day school now will have this electrical vehicle training in their portfolio. I'm Kyle McKenna. Executive Vice President of the St. Louis Chapter NECA. Our contractors are already well versed in what it takes to have a successful project. And the fact that we have the skilled training really sets us apart from the competition. There's probably no better time to be in this industry with, with where we are going. My name is Jordan Jury. I'm the Supervisor of Facility Operations for Ameren Headquarters. We have dozens of chargers at this facility. We're looking at the DC Fast Charger today, but we have several Level 2 chargers spread throughout the campus. And they really serve several purposes for Ameren, so it allows us to bring in customers to showcase EV charging. We host EV demo days here. Really, it makes it more practical for our coworkers to own electric vehicles. And then we also have our own fleet of electric vehicles. Douglas Brewer, uh, Vision Electric, President and CEO. They're the primary uh, utility here in the, in the St. Louis area and Midwest. There's some other co-ops around, but Ameren is headstrong on supporting this market. So uh, not only the electrical vehicle charging, but the solar markets, they're, they're the front runners in it. Vision Electric did a great job on this project. Uh, it's a very high visibility project being right outside of our office also a high traffic area. Safety was very important and Vision Electric did a great job with that. 
And for a contractor like Vision Electric, when they have the ability to trust us, it's just great for everybody. It's the infrastructure that's needed to go from neutral to cruising speed where electric vehicles are concerned. Our world runs on power, and we make it happen. From St. Louis for Electric TV, I'm Dominic Giratano. Be sure to follow us on social media for behind-the-scenes extras and industry information.